Hello and welcome. I am the Mecha Man, T H E M E K K A M A N, the Mecha Man. Uh, you are looking at uh, September, August uh, 7th, 2018. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, Treasure Hunt Tuesday. Uh, it is the. Uh, what the hell is this thing? Um. Uh, uh, Solstice of Heroes. Um, it is an event that's going on. Uh, I believe they started it last week. Get my thing to run. I need to do an update on my controller. Um, but we are doing Treasure Hunt Tuesdays. Uh, those that don't know. Ha ha ha. Uh, I am recording it on the 7th, um, but you will probably be seeing it on the 8th, uh, only because of reasons why. Uh, but we are going to go through. Um, it is Hell's Basin, which is what, Mars? Yeah, Mars. Uh, it is on Mars this week, so graciously enough uh, that there's only three as opposed to uh, five. So it's only 14,400 glimmer that we're going to be spending on this. So like always, we always collect them all. Uh, and I'm going to pull up the map. Go over to the Mars. Let it populate. One, two, three. That is very quick and simple. Uh, so... Uh, I'm going to do that one first, so without further ado, we're going to hop right into this. And, ah, oh, going to miss the Cade. Um, for those that don't know what the Solstice of Heroes, it is basically kind of like a celebratory event. Uh, kind of leading up into the uh, Forsaken uh, expansion that is coming out. September? September. Um, and with doing that... I just had something else catch my eye. Uh, it was leading up uh, in September. Uh, with doing that, you get a chance and opportunity to go back and kind of relive the original. Uh, what are they? Uh, uh, kind of storyline plots uh, from the original release of Destiny for Destiny 2. Uh, and what you end up doing is that they give you a set of armor. Uh, and going through the armor, uh, I actually still have it on this one. I started it on uh, my Titan. Uh, basically what it is is that you just kind of get a set of green armor that you then have to level up by doing certain things. Uh, mission completed. Even though it says mission completed, you still have to go back and do what's called these Redux missions, which are basically you relive going through the missions. Uh, you have to collect these orbs that generate um, and in for instance for this one uh, PvP. Um, but this helmet right here actually does dictate generating an elemental orbs by wearing the full solstice armor during set set during the solstice heroes event. So basically you have to have all three in order to do it. Now if you see me at 351 I'm gonna hop into this real quick to show you I just dropped down pretty much close to a hundred uh, because they're all level 200 items so that's like a ouchy effect um, but we are not doing that right here we're going in maybe uh, and doing Oh, that was solar. Why did I do that? Okay. Kind of weird. I have a floating gun. Oh, it is like 007 there. There it is. There's my hands. So I'm going to pull up the map again because we're doing the treasure hunt Tuesday. Uh, it is pretty much straight ahead. Tougher than the last wave, right? Apparently that's the idea. Now that they're immune to his Siberian entropy protocol, he needs to kind of straight up exterminate the hive. 
Wouldn't a Golden Age AI have a more efficient way to thin their numbers? I asked him the same thing. He hasn't. Wouldn't there be a thing where I could sit there and ignore her? Just saying. Uh, because I'm doing Treasure Hunt Tuesday. Uh, you know, I. You know, I'd tell you to look for the power generator, but I'll be honest. All this computer-y stuff looks the same to me. This one, this one was pretty small. I guess we all look pretty small standing next to Rasputin, though. Uh, so it looks like it's pretty much straight ahead over there, where everything is at. I'm going to try and avoid it, uh, because I want to see how much glimmer I'm going to get back off of doing just the event. Of which I don't think I'm going to because I feel like it's up in here. I'm gonna hop in here, slide on over. Go right over here, kind of pull up the map. Uh, this is one that I have not seen. Uh, he says that it's near a computer -y thingy. Of which I am not in the right location. I am not in the right location. Don't hurt me. Hey. There's one of those things I need. I'll have to come back for that. Um oh. I still somehow managed to not get Whoa! Without thinking about it, it is in this hallway here. As you kind of come up to this uh, watery towery thingy, in this hallway right here, just kind of sit next to a computery thingy. Uh, four, four tokens. You do have this thing here. Uh, I got a blue, and I got armor like always. Uh, or an armor mod, uh, and what was that yellow thingy? Uh, an artichoke, and an artichoke right out the get gets me 100. I don't know why I don't have that. Ah! Get out of there. There is no place safe. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here, hide, pull up the map maybe, you know. That was a very scary event. Apparently there's stuff that spawns in that hallway, so kind of be careful. Uh, and then there's this one. I'm gonna do this one next, and I'm gonna teleport to it uh, instead of trying to drive through all that. Uh, snow. It's cold, it's wet. And it's generally pretty great to throw at people, but you know what else is good for? Hiding things. I wonder where I can get some white paint around here. So he's looking for some white paint. Can we get some white paint over there? White paint over here? Gotta hide something? Gotta... You? No? No? No white paint? No one got white paint? Okay. Um... But we got, what, one, two armor pieces. So we got two armor pieces. That's going to be 200 more. Uh, as you spawn right in, you can see the blue glow kind of hanging off just to the left there. Uh, I kind of thought it was going to be right there anyways. Uh, I got one armor and... Four Mars tokens. I don't know if that's the cat or child. Uh, upon recording this, my child should be asleep. Uh, and then I have this one. Let me tell you the real truth about machines. They're a lot more like people than you think. Some are fine. Some are just jerks. Rasputin? Totally right-brained, I think. Hmm. That one is puzzling to me. Oh, it is very puzzling to me. So, 
don't know why I didn't have this earlier because I'm going to be running really fast with this. Oh, uh, because I got the boots that increase my speed. I got the sword that's increasing my speed. Uh, and we're going to be running through here. I know it's going to be past this section here. So just kind of go ahead. Hopping right in here. I'm going to have some. Yep. Like I'm going to be having some things kind of. Slide pretty much all the way through. Since they can't come through there. It's a great moment to check your map. Uh, keep going. Keep on going. Of which I believe I know where this one's at. Uh, kind of continue on as if you're doing your story. Drop on down. And I have the feeling that it's going to be up on my right. In a spot right there. Yes, indeed. I'll show you how to get to that. So this is where you normally kind of come through with your story. Uh, and you got to jump onto this. As I did so, so graciously there. Missing everything. Uh, and then you kind of come into here and then a giant... You're like, oh crap, what the heck's going on? And then everyone gets destroyed. This is where you get the javelin the very first if you've played the story. Now, for, in order to get the thing, you gotta jump up here. In order to catch, uh, use, it's basically you're jumping to the other side because this stairwell is working just fine, unlike that one that broke. Right there, platform. Whoa! That's a first. That's a first where I got two legendaries and an exotic. And an exotic. Two legendaries and exotic. So, we're going to go through, uh, dismantle these to kind of see what there is, uh, because it's not that great. 49. Uh, a 49 scout rifle, so there's two. However, you don't get any glimmer out of it. Uh, this one you will, which is 100. 200. 300. 300 glimmer. Uh, 300 glimmer, 400 glimmer, 500 glimmer. Uh, you would have gotten 500 glimmer back out of 14... Point four spent. Huh. Nope. Gonna hold on to that. That's gonna be fourteen four uh, fourteen thousand four hundred spent. Uh, and we are going to go back and find out what we get for this. Uh, I didn't get any more letter fragments out of this. Uh, I'm actually quite surprised. Um, I do. I am actually trying to hold on to them to kind of generate a book, as it were. Find out what all of them are, uh, because I feel like that there's something going on with them as it is. Like, all of them put together, uh, what... What is that that's going on right there? Uh, so there is that. Um, but I am intrigued. Hopefully I can get the hard light that I've been so desperately wanting right there. That's what I really want because as you can see, pretty much everything else, I just want hard light. Just please, 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 if you give me a hard light, I will probably not give a, uh, crap about, you know, pretty much any other exotic. Um, because the fact that you can change your elemental damage is something I really, um, wanting. 
especially for chasing after uh, those nodes that will show. On Mars, you have these certain nodes you need to be searching for. Yes, latent memories. Uh, I only have 20 out of 45. Uh, I could easily search for more. However, it's uh, kind of hard because I have to keep on switching the weapons. So that's the most pain in the butt part. Uh, the other nice thing about hard light is that you can shoot the ground or shoot a wall. And I remember playing back in the Halo days with that sniper rifle, the ricochet. Oh, those sniper shots were ridiculous. But we're not playing Halo. We're playing Destiny 2. Brought to you by the makers of Halo. Um, so once this loads in, we're going to just go and check out what I got for that exotic engram. Uh, please let me know in the comments below what it is that you received out of it, how much you got back out of 14,400. Uh, this is the um, Treasure Hunt Tuesday for Destiny 2 on Xbox. Uh, if it is something different for PlayStation or PC, please let me know um, because I really don't have very many friends that play anything other than Xbox, so it's like I really don't know. Um, just double checking, making sure that all it was checking. was just those items, which it was. There were no extra uh, notes because I still have the one there. So here we go, finding out what this exotic is. Uh, and then I will give my little outro. And it's not. It's something probably completely useless to me. I ever find that hard light uh, dodging disorients nearby enemies and temporarily removes their radars so this is kind of a PvP uh, increases armors mobility allowing you to move faster so pretty much all of hunter stuff is like must go faster I think I have something you will like take a quick look closer on these I, I really I don't really need them. Even with the Pretty much, uh, all that is required. has that little rabbit, uh, kind of celestial purple fade pants. Um, pretty very reminiscent to the Void Hunter, uh, from Destiny 1 with all of the aspects, uh, with the exception of that rabbit. That rabbit is on the Jade Rabbit, so it's kind of a long note. That series of stuff. Uh, these are 59. Or I just want to sit here and make sure my other stuff is leveled up. These are the ones, and I will give go ahead and start with the. I can't do anything. So bye bye pants. Thank you for unlocking. Um, but that is it for Destiny 2 Treasure Hunt Tuesday on Xbox. Uh, here I go, going to be loading this thing up. Going over there and going over there. Um, once again, I am the Mecha Man, T-H-E-M-E-K-K-A-M-A-N, the Mecha Man. You can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Um, all month long of August, I'm doing a charity drive for stackup.org. Those that don't know what stackup.org is, it is an organization that strives to bring video game, video game paraphernalia to active duty and veterans uh, because it helps with PTSD, depression, anxiety, and overall mor morale. Um, and video games have the power to heal. Uh, and that is their goal with uh, doing so for these veterans in active duty. Also, I have hit the 100 follower mark on... Excuse me. There's just coming back on me. Uh, I hit the 100 follower mark on Twitch. Uh, so I'm doing a giveaway for uh, pretty much the month, uh, starting the 11th. Um, it's going to be a Gleam giveaway, so therefore, it's out of my hands. It's like, here you go. Go ahead and enter, and it's all up to you guys. Uh, so, 
stay tuned for that uh go ahead and check out the charity and i appreciate you guys have a good one peace